in 2010 because I wanted to change the world. And one of the things that I wanted us to do was empowerment. And when I got to Nigeria, it was really difficult, really difficult for people to understand what I was talking about, really difficult for people to understand the types of ideas that we had. And I decided that I was going to come to the Hilton. Mr. Shola, he came out and said, you have two minutes. And in less than two minutes, she was able to tell me exactly what I wanted to hear. If you look at the genesis of this hotel, it was really to help the nation relocate their capital and develop economic activity. It was a political decision to say, look, to unite the country, we want to take one of the most central points of the country. And so they chose Abuja. It was just plain bush. My first time here was when it was under construction. That was 85, 86. I was told that it's a hotel. That was when I started announcing the ambition that I want to work here. There was no streets, there was no buildings. It was just a beautiful five-star hotel. Nikon Loka Hilting Hotel, Abuja. Man's best idea on earth. We heard that Hilton was recruiting, so we came to the gate and there was such a huge crowd. And then somebody just turned around from the gate. We said, you, 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 you come, you're going to be a waiter, you're going to be a maid, you're going to be a barman, you're going to be a chef. And then we started training them. When I joined, I was a room attendant. By the grace of God, I'm the executive housekeeper of the department with 230 staff. Every important thing happens here at the Hilton. If you want to get something done, you come here. Hilton is in the heart of the Abuja, for sure. The hotel has this vital function for the community of this is where we meet. Hilton is the place because that's where Abuja started. From casual to business, from business to the political side, is a central marketplace. This is the melting pot. The nightlife and the concert culture basically go hand in hand. I believe local businesses have thrived as a result of the Hilton. When I came to the Hilton initially, I spoke to Mr. Shola and I said, I want us to bring youth to the hotel so that we can teach them how to work. Let them just have a sense of belonging, to know that, yeah, there's a world different from where they are and that they can aspire to that world. Tessin is one of four girls who took part in our program, the Business Empowerment Program for Women. This initiative just came at that point where I needed it the most, like, just gave me a direction. She left with a free sewing machine, which was bought by the Hilton Hotel. Like they say, don't give a fish to somebody, teach the person to fish. And this is what we've done with the Women Empowerment Program. I make dresses, I make clothes for women, for men, and I'm the CEO of my business, Tommy's Design. They give to us old bed sheets. We dye them and we sell them back to the Hilton. It's part of Hilton vision to impact in the community where we are. The engine room is at the Hilton, but the effects is really felt within the community outside of the Hilton. She is driven by putting smiles on faces of people. That's what gives her purpose and that connects with the Hilton purpose too. 